My name is Hui Wang. Uh, I'm a PhD student and from University of Wisconsin-Madison. I work in Professor Rustin's lab on um, your handling system, uh, especially in the area of anaerobic digestion. Today I'm going to talk about one of our study, um, its effect on mixing the duration on biogas production and methanogen distribution in a dairy manure digester. Here, uh, mixing duration means how long you take in a certain uh, your mixing for a certain time. It's not about the speed, just to cl clarify at the beginning. Um, I'll start with a little background. Um, the mixing system in a digester can be achieved in many ways. Uh, for example, the recirculation of sludge or gas, as shown here. And it can be also achieved by a mechanical mixer. This one, the uh, mechanical mixer has been reported to be more efficient um, in unit of per, um, uh, the power input per unit of um, when you're mixed. I'm a little nervous, sorry. So this study on mixing has ever been uh, studied as early as 1931. Um, and the first study show shaking can increase biogas production. Ever since then, the role of, of mixing has been unfolded. Mixing can increase the contact between biomass as well as the organic substrate. Can reduce particle size. It can reduce the diffusion limitation. Um, mixing can also prevent uh, stratification, um, reduce the temperature gradient, prevent sedimentation and form of scum. It can also distribute the inhibitory substrate. Also, the mixing is very important here. Um, the studies on the impact of mixing on gas production is still not so clear. This is because there are many factors may inf impact for example, the intensity, which means the mixing speed, or the duration, how long you mix per hour per day, and even the location the, where you install the mixer, or even the diameter will, Im will impact the um, gas production. But one thing we are clear is we want to use less energy input, but more about gas production. A study has been shown that so of the total energy used to operate a biogas plant, 54% of them are put into the up, uh, mixing system. If we take into the unit of, uh, if we take into the energy produced from biogas, about five to 10% of, of the energy generated from biogas will be put into mixing. There's a lot of energy. So there, uh, the previous study on mixing duration has been. Um, so there are, many there are many studies on mixing intensity, however, the duration studies are very limited. Uh, for example, th but there are several studies has been shown as listed here. The first one say, discontinuous mixing, which we may call intermittent mixing, will not decrease gas production. And another study say, um, continuous mixing may produce higher biogas, higher methane, and the third one say, okay, intermittent mixing will produce 20% more gas than continuously. So it is our hypothesis say, maybe what do we impact the result? One, the loading rate, which in the uh, informs the total solids. If we have a higher solids concentration, maybe mixing can perform uh, more importantly. There is the study shown at low total solids, le solids level, less than percent, 10 percent, mixing may not be so critical. But uh, we want to we want to try if this is true in our experiment. Two, the retention time, um, as mentioned in the previous section, uh, the first presentation. So if we have uh, discontinuous mixing, it may have like accumulated the solids, which may may impact the solid retention time, uh, which is a function which is will impact the biogas production. Three, uh, we assume, we, it is a hypothesis that micro, microbial community may change, uh, which will also have impacts on the gas production. So the question we are trying to answer is, how does mixing duration impact the gas production, impact on the solids, re, solids distribution and the methanogens in the digester? So to answer this question, uh, we designed a one-factor experiment, has a three level um, of mixing, which is nearly continuous the mixing, CON, and terminate mixing, and no mixing. The mixing is carried out in 15 minutes mixing interval, uh, which 
for the continuous mixing, we have half of the time, and a quarter of the time is mixing, and no mixing. This experiment is carried out in triplicate in our uh, three pallet scale digesters in our lab. The digester is 55 gallon, which is about 20, uh, 200 liters uh, in the volume. And uh, we also test the gas quantity and the quality and the other chemical parameters during the process. Here's our system. Um, so the feed tank is, uh, we film fresh manure daily and feed eight kilograms per day. This is will come into 21, per, 21 days of the rotation time. Uh, it feeds in by a pump through the bottom and then goes to the digester. The effluent is from the top and then I submerge it in, in a bucket. So uh, the gas produced is, is connected to a flow, wet flow uh, gas meter. We can calculate the volume from the process. The temperature is also controlled here by heating band. I want to have, highlight here, we have three sampling parts for the digester, top, middle, and bottom. We also have a feed tank and effluent sample, so we have five locations for the manure samples. Uh, we also analysis the, the um, methane percentages through DC. During the whole process, the, the, the feeding and the temperature and mixing is all controlled by the computer system. Here's just a summary of our operation parameters. Uh, the manure is collected locally from a medicine, uh, from a local farm in Madison, Wisconsin. The total solids we adjusted to 5%, 5.5%. The feeding amount is 80 kilograms and retention time is 21 days. The temperature here we are running a little low as uh, what's measured last, from last presentation at 33 um, Celsius. The mixing rate is 400 RPM. Here, this is, I want to mention here, this is the safety rate for our operation system if we want to feed daily, so the manure will not spill out from the top of the digester. This is also the rate where we have no like vortex, so I think it's, um, it's safe for our system. Okay, so I'm going to share part of our results uh, about gas production, solids, and methanogen. Here's the cumulative biogas production from the uh, three treatment and 21 days rotation time uh, in units of gas production with correction of the total solids feed. Um, so this is average, but from st statistically, non-mixing will have like higher gas production compared to mixing just by biogas produced through the system. If we look into um, a different way, the biogas produced per unit of solids in the digester, that will be similar. So no mixing will have a significant higher value. I have error bars that is light here. Um, no mixing will have a higher gas production because so there, uh, okay, let's look at, this is the biogas production, but if we look into the specific biogas yield, which is expressed as methane per volatile solids discharge. This is maybe a little different expression as what else down they show methane per VS feed. We are using the unit of volat uh, volatile solids discharge, which is from the affluent, um, which is different between affluent and the feeding system. But this is a little different. See, continue, nearly continuous the mixing have a higher specific gas production. If I think about the previous one and here, why? Um, so, if we have more, uh, so no mixing have more biogas, but in the per units of wall is out, this joint, there's more methane production. So, probably, uh, I have two explanations. Um, probably, the volatile solid destroyed, the volatile solid destroyed and uh, the continuous the mixing one more converted to biogas. But for these two, they may convert to like VFAs or other byproducts or can be used by the biomass or cell growth during the process. Uh, but this is not enough evidence to show always oh, increasing or mixing duration and may have a higher specific biogas yield because this is half of the mixing time. This is the quarter. We didn't matter three quarters and continuously mixing in the 24 hours a day. So um, that's maybe for our next study.
let's look at the solid retention time. Um, so how is solids going with different time? We test the first. F after 15 minutes of sampling, what will looks like in the three digesters? There's no significant difference between top, middle, bottom of the, of the digester. That's why we call our uh, CON1 as nearly continuously. Um, if we look at the time for two hours, after one hour, so they seems to appear differently. That's how we set up our antimonism mixing for like 15 minutes mixing per hour. How is the solids going like 21 day, in 21 days rotation time? Here's a key map. Um, the total solids is going from low to high, from yellow, green to red. So this is the feed tank with almost the sim similarly green and, and similarly yellow as the affluent. However, with different mixing, the total solids, total solids is different with different, uh, different locations. We can start with the continuously one, top, middle, and bottom. So most of them is at the bottom, but they are pretty uniform during the whole process. Um, from our 0, 7, uh, 14, 20, 21 days sampling time. And for non-mixing, it, it, it means it's different. So the first, the first two sampling parts is small and then is accumulated during as as the time goes as the time go along. So no mixing definitely will have a solid so accumulate for bottom and middle and top and even top during the third week. So next I'm going to combine the data for solids, gas production and methanogen here. So the, the methanogens or the active biomass mostly distribute in the solids part of the slurry, of the manure slurry. So it's interesting to compare the solids, total solids, volatile solids. Um, this is, this is uh, in Loxigo, uh, this is some of all the methanogens we test in our um, experiment. And this one is Akia. Um, this is in, in Loxigo based I use the base of 10. Uh, this is the copy of the genomes test from the qPCR qPCR test. It is interesting to me here. There's although there's no significant difference uh, for the solids in the digester. However, the um, the population we say the population of archaea or the methanogens, the total has uh, correlated with the gas production here. Uh, no mixing has a higher value as shown in our data. So here's just the sum, uh, another picture of the Kia and the sum of the our methanogens. What I want to show here, maybe uh, the, just as the total solids change, the microbial distribution is also changed over the week. So we are going to uh, analysis in our next step, maybe time, uh, if we change the mixing strategy, so the microbeads or the digestion may take longer time to get adapt. Maybe the first week we don't have an, uh, the impact for the first week and the third week may have a little different. So here's just a little summary. Um, no mixing has a higher value gas production at our, in our experiment. This is a little different with the previous study who says less than 10% of total solids, the mixing is not critical. But in our study, it is. Um, for no mixing, however, will re result in low specific gas production. And we also have recommendations for farms to run mixer to prevent the settling um, and other operation issues such as clogging or something. Okay, thank you for your attention. And here I'm ready for questions. And These are uh, base, base digesters, not continuous digesters? Uh, these are flow through reactors. We, I feed every day. Um, yeah, it's continuously flow through reactor. So but yeah. do, you, do you expect the same results for the continuous to tap digesters in the dot scale? So scale up is always like a problem from last scale, pilot scale to full scale. But at least from like this 200 liters, 55 gallons, we can have a general change of the 
and last field. It's better than just one liter or 20 liter. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Next speaker, please.